first jump of the day scared the life out of me. When I was growing up, it was always skateboarding and riding dirt bikes. These sports made me who I am today. My name's Noah, I'm 19 years old now. And from Texco, helping us out, race with Team Brit. Racing has been the best thing for my mental health. It was always bikes I was mostly interested in. I didn't even really follow Supercross. I was just completely immersed in freestyle. So racing is pretty new. Clearly, I've found a passion in it. Before my accident, motocross shaped my identity massively. I based a lot of my personality around it. When I had my accident, I came down. I winded myself at the same time. I think once I got over that wind and I realized that my legs weren't responding. Pretty blank from then on, because I got taken to two different hospitals and then I was straight into surgery. Organs were shutting down and stuff, so I wasn't completely there. And that was another pivotal moment where I was like, wow, I'm still in hospital, legs still aren't working. This is clearly gonna change a lot in my future. I broke my back at T6 vertebrae and that left my spinal cord stretched at that level. And this has left me currently paralyzed from my ribs down. The hardest part has been the emotional side of coping with everything. I had my accident in the middle of A-levels, so yeah, I missed the first year and then went back into it. And it, I kind of projected my accident onto my art and portrayed all of it through that, which I felt was quite a good coping kind of mechanism for me at least. The head of art at my school mentioned that the Royal Academy of Art was doing a summer exhibition. He thought that I should just, you know, try to enter it. So I did. My piece got shortlisted in CRA. I think it was out of like tens of thousands of pieces. So that's a win for me, you know. The whole project was surrounding my accident and basically how it felt to be in this situation, you know, like with a loss of feeling and just feeling heavy and stuck. That's what I wanted all of my art to, you know, portray. It kind of just meant that I could focus on how I felt and process it and move on. And yeah, I created that through my sculpture. My parents set up a GoFundMe page, which blew up and got lots of attention from all sorts of different directions. Everything that came out of that was just amazing and has helped me so much and still is helping me like every single day. I couldn't be luckier. All the money that was donated to me has gone only to everything to do with me getting back on my feet. So things for my home gym as in FBS bikes, standing frames, private physio, just everything that can go towards helping me. I'm not accepting this as my life. Found Matt Hampson Foundation. I went for just a first kind of intro session and they were amazing off the bat. Started going for physio and their support was just incredible. It's almost like they could read my mind, they knew exactly what to do. And I started training sessions with, everyone calls him Sutty, but James Sutliff, he's just one of my best mates now. He's great. You know, working in the gym, he's helped me bulk up a lot since the hospital because I came out skinny and just not looking very healthy at all. So he's been just a huge influence on my confidence right now. The great thing about him is he sees everyone with disability as completely normal, so he's not going to treat you softly because of it. My first session at the foundation was just kind of a physio check over of everything and see where I am. So I was super weak. It starts with really tiny things like stretching, and then start to move up to standing up in frames and things and getting up was just amazing. It just started from very small things and over the last year I've been going there. Now I'm at using a treadmill to walk very slowly with the help of a physio. I would not have that at all without them. And now I'm lifting much heavier weights than I ever did even before my accident actually. I'm feeling the strongest I have forever, which is quite cool to say. One of my friend's dads was presenter for ITV and he did a part on Team Brit and was talking to Aaron. And Aaron had a very similar story to me, he broke his back at 15, most cross. Then I was at Matt Hampson Foundation staying in their lodges and someone had told me that I need to give a key to someone that's coming in later and turns out that person 
that I met later was Aaron and it was clearly obviously I was meant to meet him because it was just completely random timing and he got me in contact with Dave Player, the founder of the team. He asked me if I wanted to be a rookie and obviously I'd, I'd snatched that up. Going to the Team Brit headquarters was, was awesome, it was super exciting, especially to see all the, you know, the McLarens and then getting a go on their sim to have a go with their hand controls. It was just, it was like, oh wow, this is really exciting, like I can drive fast using these. It was eye-opening, it was, it was awesome. Being part of Team Brit and a part of a team actually, it's been really new to me because all my sports before weren't team-based, it was all individual and it's taught me loads actually. The environment around the team and all the camaraderie is just electric, it's, it's awesome. Everyone wants the best for each other, it's been amazing. Texco helps us out by providing all the lubricants for each individual car. They've been a part in giving me the opportunity to even be able to race because without any funding or anything, I don't think the C1 would be there and therefore I, I probably wouldn't be racing right now. Racing has definitely filled that loss of adrenaline. And the first time I got in and went around Silverstone, it really humbled me. It was scary and it felt fast. Instantly like filled up and overflowed that hole of excitement and adrenaline that's just, you know, when I'm in the car, I don't feel like this has ever happened to me, you know, it's a completely equal playing ground. There are small things and small things with an injury like this are actually huge. And I still am slowly overcoming different parts. It's not all going to happen at once. It's not going to happen quickly. Whatever it is actually now with physio and being in the gym, just going through that kind of pain and just getting through it because I know the end factor is actually what I'm chasing and it will come, it's just that discipline that you need. My mission, regardless of how long it takes, is to get back on my feet and get back upright. My injury is incomplete, which means my spinal cord is still one piece, is still intact, so outside of racing, I'm working as hard as I can in physio. Something I've really worked out with racing is big jumps don't just happen, it's all small middle goals to get where I want to be. Team Brit have given me a new purpose and my injury will not hold me back.